Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over part 4 of the warehouse design series. And in this part we're going to actually be putting the bathrooms in the front entrance area as well as the front offices. So this is going to be kind of a similar video to the last one where we put the furniture in. And it's not really going to deal a whole lot with the warehouse design aspect but more of the uh, plumbing and just fixtures of the front office and entrance area. So I know this doesn't seem like it'd be as important, but it is extremely important to make sure the bathroom is correct as there are local, state, and federal laws you have to follow. And if you're going to have employees in the warehouse itself, you're going to need bathrooms. So again, kind of trivial that we're dealing with bathrooms here, but again, a very important lesson. So with that being said, let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. It gives me direct feedback on the videos I'm making and how well they're doing. If you find the video helpful, give it a like down below, and if you want to see something else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. One last thing I want to say too is a little bit of a disclaimer, but I am not a professional architect, structural engineer, or designer, so if you have any serious questions based on structure or architectural needs, please reach out to a professional. All right, so let's hop into the lesson here. We're going to be putting four bathrooms in this main area, the front office, as well as the main entrance area. You have the two bathrooms right here, the one, two, the women's and the men's that are going in the main entrance area. And then you have the two bathrooms that are just individual in the office area. So I kind of cheated and already created the men's and women's bathroom. And they're right here. And as you can see here for the women's bathroom, we have four stalls. And for the men's, we just have two plus two urinals. Now, this should be fine for the size of the warehouse that we have. But for bigger warehouses, you're going to need more toilets and more bathrooms. There are local state, federal laws that require the U.S. as well as other countries to have a certain amount of toilets per people. So that could be one per 25 people. It's just something you have to look into before deciding how many people are going to be in your building or staffed in your building, as well as the amount of toilets you want to put in the building as well, whether you need to add another bathroom or if these bathrooms would suffice. So the other thing I want to point out too is that each bathroom actually has a handicap stall in them per ADA regulations and guidelines within the US. So here we have something called the ADA, which stands for Americans with Disability Act. And what that causes us to do or pushes us to do is uh, design bathrooms that are you know, meant for people with disabilities. And that's actually a great thing. It's very important. Um, but again, just involves some prior planning. So we have to have a stall that can fit a, hand, um, a wheelchair in, and then there's a couple other things like sink heights need to be a certain level for other people with disabilities and just a couple other things too. So with that being said, we are going to actually move the men's bathroom into position. So we're going to grab it and we're going to copy it. And we're going to bring it over here. We're going to bring it down to this point. And we want the women's bathroom to be symmetrical. So we want these sinks to be on this side of the women's bathroom. And as you can see here in the women's one, the sinks are on the other side. So the way we're going to fix that is we are going to mirror it and then rotate it. So if you don't have something in a certain orientation, this is how you're going to want to bring it to the specific orientation. Do not redraw it. That will take way too much time. So to do that, we're going to copy the whole thing. We're going to come up to the mirror button. <clears throat> and we're going to mirror it. We're going to bring this to the center point, rotate it around. And then we are going to, we do not want to erase the source object, so we're going to press no. And now we have a mirrored um, bathroom. Now, as you can see, the sinks are still in the wrong area, but now with this mirrored presentation, we can actually rotate it again. Rotate it. And now it is completely flipped from the original position, and we are going to bring that over to the build as well. We're going to copy this, <clears throat> bring it from this corner, and we're going to bring it up here. Now, as you can see, we have an area right here that is kind of just not full, and we have no doors to the bathroom. So this is kind of where I was talking about an update that was going to need to be made to the bathrooms itself. We're actually going to break down this wall right here and we are going to add the doors in. All right, so now we're gonna add the doors in, and the reason why we're actually going to add doors in a different area and we're gonna change the layout a little bit is because if you add doors right here and right here, you're gonna be able to see in from the main hallway to the bathrooms, and we want to make sure privacy is 
uh, focused on when we're talking about the bathrooms. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to break this wall down and create a little mini hallway for the doors themselves. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take a line. We're going to come up here, come down here, and then come back up. And then we're going to take another line because we want to go to the sinks right there, then come back up. And now we can actually use the trim tool to get rid of these lines right here. We're going to escape, and then we can just kind of delete all of these lines out. There's a little bit of a gap here that we're going to fill in. And then we're going to make a five inch wall like the rest of the walls right here. So I'm going to come back out right there. We're going to come out five inches, whoop, inches. And then we're going to come up to this point right here and then connect it. I'm going to take that. We're going to come out five inches here too. And then come up to that point, bring it there. And then to open these walls up just a little bit to keep the drawing consistent, we're going to trim this bit and this, this little guy right here, it'll go. And then this portion, zoom in, and then this bit. So now we have this little mini hallway. What we're going to do next is add the doors in. And I'm just going to take one of these doors right here. We're going to copy it, and we're going to do the same thing we did with the bathrooms earlier on. So as you can see, the door is not um, rotated properly. So we are going to actually rotate this door like so. And then we are going to mirror the door. There we go. And now I can take both doors and we will put them probably more in the center. This is kind of going to just be an estimate, but we're going to put them probably, we'll call it, we'll call it three foot off the wall. That way they can start. And then I'm going to grab this one. We're going to move it. We'll grab it right here. That's where the line was drawn. Theoretically, I should be able to, yep, there's three feet right there. We'll draw another line across to do the other door because, again, we want them symmetrical. We'll have move this, and then we want, let's see where the line is. We want this bit right here. Let's connect right there. We're going to delete that line. And as you can see, there are two doors into the bathroom now. So the bathrooms are where they should be. The doors are where they should be. And again, we have this little walk space. So the bathroom doors aren't right outside where people can peek into the bathrooms themselves. All right, so like we did with the other bathrooms, we're actually going to put bathrooms in the office now. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to add a bathroom right here, so the toilet, and then a sink. And we are actually going to bring these in a little bit too because you're going to notice they're a bit bigger. So I'll show you how to do that and make that change as well. So we're going to bring the sink in first, and I've cheated again and just made a sink already. And we are going to bring that in and hopefully have it line up right there. Okay, so now we have the sink, the first one, and then we will just actually copy this one again move it into position, bring it down here, there we go, and then we will delete that, and let's grab a toilet so we can have a copy of that as well. We're going to copy this, bring it over here, and this time instead of mirroring it, we could mirror it, or we're just going to rotate it. Both are easy to do, and either or would work. So now we are going to probably come, let's just say, let's come three feet off of the sink. We're going to bring this toilet in, copy. It's going to attach to three feet off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring, we're going to copy this toilet right here. 
scan this line so we can bring it down and make it identical to this one. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of space here and obviously it's a management bathroom. So you could add things like maybe um, some storage space for hygiene products, all that stuff. But realistically speaking, when we're looking at the dimensions of this bathroom, it's 14 feet long. It does not need to be that long. So we're actually going to move these two doors. We're going to copy them both at once. Sorry, we're going to select them both and move them. And then we are going to bring this in. And we'll bring it in to, we'll just say 10 feet. 10 feet is probably a good number right there. And then again, the wall is five inches long. So we're going to go five inches, bring this wall down as well. And then I'm actually going to just copy this and we are going to move it down here. This bathroom's a little bit longer, which is totally fine. We're just gonna finish this line out. And then we're going to come back here to our trim tool and trim away the bits that we don't need or want. So we're actually going to have to draw a couple extra lines in here as well, which is totally fine. Sometimes the process just takes a little bit. Again, not an issue. We'll fill this line in right here. And then fill this one in. And then we will trim this guy right here. Looks like we're done. The last thing we want to do is we want to bring these doors back to where they came from. So again, we're just going to move them back. And if we follow this grid line right here, it'll be exactly where they were at. So now that those bathrooms are a little bit smaller, you free up a little bit more space right here to maybe you can put like a little filing, a filing cabinet or something else. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. I know it was a little bit of a longer video, especially one talking about just toilets and bathrooms. But again, if you're going to hire associates and or employees, you're going to need bathrooms and sinks or toilets and sinks. So hopefully you learned what you needed to. And thanks for watching the video. Hope everyone has a good rest of their day.